Good afternoon everyone. I am Dr. Partho Roy, a medical virologist. I am speaking to you from home because there is a complete clampdown in Delhi and I will be talking to you a little on the coronavirus that is spreading. It is called the novel coronavirus. Also it is called the SARS coronavirus 2 or simply as COVID-19. It is a novel virus or a new virus that affected the world and the population was not immune to it, was not exposed and therefore the initial phases have been very virulent. People have been affected badly. There have been more than 13,000 deaths worldwide. Of course, as you know, it started from China sometimes mid-December, place called Wuhan. It spread there fairly fast and then it spread to the other countries, especially few of the European countries like Italy and Spain and later on also to the British Isles. Apart from that, the effect have been seen in Iran, where a lot of mortality has happened and presently it's also affected USA fairly badly. There's a lot of panic, there is a lot of steps that's being thought about. In India, we have seen these cases happening in the month of March. There have been about more than 400 cases as of now, although there has not been mortality in that sense that we have seen in the European countries. A lot of measures have been adopted. Initially it started from social distancing, quarantine, surveillance measures, good respiratory practices, but for the last two days or so, there has been a lockdown, especially in Delhi, wherein travel, all gatherings, etc. has been stopped. What is exactly the status of this disease in India? Difficult to say because there has not been extensive testing because of various reasons. There is still some confusion as to who all should be tested. It is also the matter of presence of resources, the huge population that is uh, we are dealing with and of course availability of kits and testing centers. The private companies have now been authorized for testing so they are all carrying up. It has been seen that the elderly people have been affected the most and people with comorbidities. Children have been affected relatively less but there is no evidence that children would not be affected or they are immune to it. It is not so. Having said that, the people who will be always affected would be healthcare workers, the elderly people with comorbidities, maybe pregnant ladies and so on and so forth. In this scenario, the few of the questions that comes to the mind is that why did a child start in China and uh, where this virus really came from? Was it a simply a mutation happening in one of the animals, like the reassortment that happened in case of H1N1 swine flu in 2009? Or why has it so badly affected certain groups of people? Why has it affected Italy more, Iran more, and not many other countries? In the trial of diseases, we always talk about the disease agent, we talk about the host response and we talk about the environment. So all these three things put together make a disease dangerous, less dangerous, endemic or a pandemic. So it is interesting to know that if there is any racial or genetic factors involved into it which makes certain groups of people a little more susceptible to this particular disease process. Is it possible that in India, since we are already exposed to different types of coronaviruses, some sort of a cross immunity exists? What about medication? There is a lot of talk about chloroquine. Now how does chloroquine work? Is it by modulating the immunity or does it have a clear antiviral effect. If it is useful, how is it to be used? In what doses? And 
whether it will be useful as a prophylactic drug or not. What about vaccines? It looks like that a vaccine is on the way, but has it been checked, tested properly? Because many of the vaccines are likely to be live vaccines. Live vaccines require very stringent testing, otherwise it can be dangerous on its own. So what is the status of these vaccines? Few other questions that we need to put into context. That if you see, the countries which have been affected most badly, that is Italy, Spain, even parts of Netherlands, UK, these are tourism intensive countries. Is it possible that had they taken initial steps to curtail entry of tourists, it could have been maybe controlled? Is it that tier 2 advisories were given with a view of not affecting the economy, which has already got affected? So there are a lot of questions. So, this disease per se is still in evolution. Not each and every aspect has been totally catered for. Maybe in three to four months time, when we come to a more stable conditions, many of these questions would probably be answered. The gaps will be filled. But as of now, we are waiting and watching, we are trying to find out questions and we are find, we hope that we find the answers for that. Thank you very much.